aerei. It's supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence. And we have got a lot of new NBA 2K22 news, man. We got like 25 different new badges. I'm gonna go over each one, let you know what you should expect, you know how I feel about each badge, and the new gameplay update, and a bunch more other 2K22 news. It's gonna be a deep dive, really in depth. So make sure you watch this full video. Make sure you subscribe. If you are new, help me hit 300K. You know? Yeah. And do me a favor and hit the like button. I appreciate you. And turn on the notice. As with any new developments, there are always growing pains. <laughs> they apologize for making broke ass fucking power forward. We've made a lot of adjustments to the system to create more balanced builds and give incentives for creating all different types of players. Smalls will see a distinct advantage over bigs and vice versa. We'll see, my nigga. So expect to see a lot more variety when you hit the virtual streets of the city this year. Yeah, the variety we gonna see is because y'all ain't released no demo. People's first builds is gonna be ass. Y'all finna make more money than ever before. <laughs> Cause people will be making way more builds. The amount of badge points at your disposal has been increased, like I told you before. Y'all niggas said I was fucking lying significantly boosting your player options for how you badge out your my player i love this bro i love this 2k16 vibes man you know really making superstars y'all niggas are weird you want to spend fucking 150 dollars on a player and not have him be a superstar you're a fucking joke nigga i can understand from a content creator's perspective because you know you want to make content on a bunch of builds and shit but just from a Nah, bro, like, crazy. You should be a superstar with emphasis. It's the ability to create badge loadouts. That's very dope. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about badge loadouts. These allow you to quickly and easily toggle what badges you have equipped based on how you're playing on a given day or even based on the matchup stepping up to the got next spots here are the new badges you could play around with in nba 2k22 oh shit oh shit fast twitch ability to get off the floor quicker for standing layups and dunks oh my god nigga best badge in the fucking world you know what i mean you know what i mean years i've been bro before park 2k even came out bro i always said there should be an option to do a quick layup or a quick dunk so I don't get all these slow ass animations at fucking random, you know? Hopefully, like quick, quick twitch makes you always get quick dunks, always get quick layups. That would be amazing, bro. Definitely gonna need a badge with finishing this year for that shit. Grace under pressure, ability to convert standing layups more effectively. No one gives a fuck. Maybe that's good for bigs. Um, limitless takeoff, ability to soar from further away on driving dunk attempts. <laughs> what the fuck? That shit sound crazy. Mouse in the house, ability for bigs to finish over shorter players more efficiently. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Make the big bitches spend badge points to finish over little niggas. Good. Little abusive ass niggas unstrippable ability to secure the ball better when gathering for a layup slash dunk in traffic mm. so so it's so they giving us extra badge points because we probably don't need these hoes because probably how it's built it's probably hella easy to get steals and shit you know this might be the a year that you really want to make a well-rounded build like a lot of people be doing like zero this zero that but it's looking like you might need this shit. Chef, ability to knock down Steph 
like off dribble threes. Damn, they even put his name in this bitch. Chef should be fucking Harden. Don't show disrespect. Harden's better than Steph Curry. Limitless spot up. Ability to hit logo range threes off a of catch and shoot. You tripping, nigga. Hopefully this doesn't actually mean what it says. Lucky seven. Boost your ability to score when shooting early in the clock. Ooh, this would be good for me. I'm really good at scoring quick. Man, bro. Y'all let me know what's your favorite badge after, like, I read all these badges. What you're most excited for. And what you think is going to be most broken and what you think is going to be worthless. Mismatch expert. Ability to successfully shoot over taller defenders on a switch. Ooh, they got a badge to shoot over those, nigga. You know Duke going to like that. <laughs> over those. And, uh, this sounds fucking broken. Um, well, it's, it's actually good. Because one thing I always tell people is the shorter players, when they get matched up with a taller nigga, they dog their ass, right? Um, they really do. Like, they really, like, it's not like how in 18 and 19, oh, you're taller. Oh, you could just shoot over people, blah, blah, blah. But in all actuality, in the NBA, the niggas that are smaller, they really shoot better contested than the bigger players with exceptions to KD and shit like that but overall the best shooters are more smaller players and they shoot better contested than bigger players overall you know so you can't really use that logic bro to be honest glue hands ability to make difficult catches and quicker branch out to a shot or dribble hyper drive Boost the speed and effectiveness of moving dribble moves. Oh, this, this shit, what? I thought this was gonna be some crazy shit, bro. Boost the ability to quickly chain dribble moves together. We guessed that right. Post playmaker, boost the effectiveness of both shots and moves when playing in the post. What? But this was playmaking. Triple threat juke increases the effectiveness of a triple threat fakes jabs and goal moves ball stripper pause ability to strip layup and dunk attempts more effectively oh we definitely running those hopefully this whole work hustler ability to get those scrappy 50 50 balls quicker than opponents bro this was in 14 i remember this shit uh I remember this shit. This brings back memories, bro. They they definitely use this scrappy shit and this 50-50 shit. Menace significantly drops the offensive rating of opponents when you smother them. That brings our total badge count to 80 with a number of existing badges also getting some nice upgrades. Okay, man. There's a lot to choose from and many ways to impact the game, so the loadout feature is welcomed. Last but certainly not least, we've ported all 80 badges to current gen, a massive upgrade for our fan base. Okay. One final my player upgrade I wanted to call out is a new gen exclusive called Takeover Perks. These are modifiers that you can unlock and equip to strengthen your existing takeover abilities. God damn. I'm not going to list them out because we want them to be a surprise, but it's a great upgrade to the takeover system that adds a layer of depth and strategy to how you compete online. So they say, the first year developing on new consoles always brings new challenges. <laughs> you can't fix the paint. <laughs> Such as major code rewrites, new technical hurdles, and systems getting rebuilt. It sound good. Next year should have been way better, my boy. But with all that behind us, the gameplay team was laser focused on one goal with NBA 2K22 making a great gameplay experience. I hope so. <laughs> Let me know if you just want the gameplay to be good, man. We had an ambitious feature list that we wanted to tackle this year. Faster paced gameplay. I hope so. Faster paced gameplay. Niggas is getting exposed on oh God. <laughs> Speed gap, skill gap. You remember me? I've been saying it for years. Tighter and more responsive movement. Oh, oh, that sounds so good. More skill-based offense and big changes to the player builder. All of which we're going to tackle in today's blog. 
And basically the rest of what they say is that they really try to do quality on both the gens of the 2K. You know, current gen and last gen, it's not current gen and new gen, I wish y'all would, you know. But they said one major focus for both is defense. I pray, everyone pray with me. Okay, we done. <laughs> we need defense. And hopefully it's with every build, not just like in 2K19, even though the game like had no defense, but at the same time it did because there was 6'10 locks with higher speed than point guards with max wingspan, 30 defensive badges, pretty broken, but like, you know, like you shouldn't have to have that type of build to be able to play defense. Game's weird. <laughs> that, that build shouldn't even exist. The primary goal for defense was to give gamers the tools to be able to really change the outcome of the game on the floor and at the rim. Hopefully at the rim, y'all. Y'all have been having a problem with the rim since 2K18. That's when paint matching first started to exist. However y'all did your shit in 18, that's where you broke the paint, like OD. If you were a great perimeter defender who anticipated well, we wanted you to be able to clamp up the dribbler and force a pass. Oh, that, that sounds, ooh, that stimulates my mind. If you were a rim protector, we wanted to give you the ability to send away weak shot attempts. Me, me. I will. Our engineers were determined to achieve those goals and were extremely happy with the results. Man, look, I don't know if I believe this because like, bro, if, if they could really fix this, wouldn't they have fixed next gen instead of leaving it in the whole year? <sighs> Something to think about. The shot contest and blocking systems were completely rebuilt. Say that every year. Leading to several new snatch blocks and volleyball spikes that never happened before. Ooh, I like that. This is gonna be lit. Yo, we got some new animations leaked. This also paved the way to reward basketball IQ much more in our shooting system. The shot contest rewrite removed the ghost contest that many complained about. I don't think they they can re actually remove ghost con contest, bro. That might be a red flag right there. I ain't gonna hold you. And this year being out of position or not getting a hand in the shooter's face will lead to some buckets for the offense. Okay, I get it now. On the other hand, properly crowding shooters with good contests will result in plenty of bricks and air balls as they should. I get it. I, I, I get what this means. If I'm reading it right, this basically means the contest system is going to be like 2K18 and 19, which, which were the easiest shooting 2Ks to exist. The only way ghost contests can disappear is if when you're contested, you still make the shot. So by making it to where if you're not really in a nigga face, like in his shit, like inside that nigga throat, um, pause. Uh, it's not looking like you're gonna miss. Like, y'all know that contest system was trash. Um, I don't know. That that that's what I get from this. Could be wrong. I don't know. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. For floor defenders, body up rides and bumps feel much more rewarding. Hey, the biggest body ups to ever exist that were like broken was in 2k18 i know like niggas always blew by but sometimes randomly your guy would literally push the other dude like three feet backwards for no reason if, if y'all played 18 if you go back and look at gameplay you'll see it and you'll be like what the fuck like it was crazy bro but yeah um Bumps feel much more rewarding as the motion team has dramatically improved the field of on-ball defensive movement. Unwanted bump steals and snatchy body ups have been reduced in favor of giving both the ball handler and the on-ball defender more freedom of movement, respected input. We, we gonna see, you know, they, they talk on both sides. Um, shifts, launches, stops, and cuts feel much tighter. Sounds so good, bro. Let, let's pray. Y'all Y'all let me know if y'all got faith, man. And with even more new gen foot planning improvements, you'll see a lot less sliding on both ends of the floor. <laughs> we still got sliding league. Steals also received an upgrade. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> with a greater emphasis placed on steel attribute. We, we gonna see. Low rated stealers get sluggish animations that punish them when they reach. Ooh. Ooh, we got a reach gap? That's lit, bro. 
Um, hopefully. Um, and like in in most in most two Ks, like almost every build can have a high steel rating. But in next gen, they made the steel rating like hard to upgrade. So maybe that'll be a gap for builds that really want to get steals. Hopefully, unpluckable works, and um, people get punished for reaching at bad moments. Um, th this could have been the fix for unpluckable for this unpluckable shit in like twenty and nineteen and all that shit. But basically, every every build had high steel. Maybe maybe not 80 but they had like 70s and shit so maybe if they oh who, who, who cares while high rated stealers with good time and an opportunity will be able to pick pockets at a much higher rate also be prepared to see more layup slash dunk strips from high rated stealers oh shit when slashers try to force their way to the rim in a crowd oh my god bro that sounds amazing we really gonna be able to stop the bots Hey man, they saying the defense gonna be amazing. Defensive AI. Oh, Dasar, shut up, nigga. You don't know what you're talking about. We not reading this. You can go read this yourself. Defensive AI. Ma ma matter of fact, I'll read it for you, man. They're basically saying right here in this paragraph that the defense is gonna play OD tighter. Uh, the defensive AI is gonna be broken. It's gonna play a lot def lot harder defense. Um, you're not going to be able to exploit them type shit. So my career is going to be a pain. And maybe when niggas lag out, they're going to be whooping niggas ass. Man, they just saying they made a, a whole bunch of defensive upgrades. You can really go read this yourself. Now dribbling. Here we go, man. Y'all know I'm the, the IQ on the dribble. The dribble shit, man. Dribbling, wait, did Mike Wayne make this? Dribbling is something I personally spend a lot of time working on and am extremely passionate about. And could say without a doubt that playmakers are going to have a field day with this year's game. Man, we gonna see, bro. Like, wait, who, who made this? Who made this shit? Who made this shit, bro? Who the fuck made this shit? Who made this shit? Was it Michelle Wang? Who made this? Who made this? I can't find who made this. It, it gotta be that Michelle Wang bitch. Cause he said this shit before. Hey bitch, you are not, you do not fuck with dribbling. Hey, make sure y'all like, subscribe, man. Damn, can we get a thousand likes? The one-to-one -one basic size-ups have been removed and replaced by one-to-one -one signature size-ups. What exactly does that mean? Flicking the pro stick in various directions last year gave you fairly generic-looking size-ups. Oh, God. While holding up on the stick gave you a nice-looking mocap dribble series. Auto-dribbling leaked? This year, the goal was to marry the two together and give players a unique feel and rhythm when sizing up while also giving the gamer complete control over how the series plays out. KD's big hezzy crosses, Harden's around through the legs, Steph's quick machine gun crosses, and Luka's methodical rock back and forth dribbles are all now under the gamer's direct control rather than a present move. What the fuck does that mean? a present movie the stick speed that we introduced on new gen last year also returns i don't know what the fuck that means um so flicking the stick quickly results in quicker dribbles bro that that dribbling on next gen is probably like the worst i've ever seen on any 2k while slower flicks give you more rhythm ick ones there are around 50 unique signature size up packages to choose from each with its own distinct advantages. God damn. Does that mean added on um, signature size ups? Like, like, cause y'all know like throughout the seasons, they probably won't give us new signature styles. That mean they're gonna sprinkle them hoes in or they're already in. That'd be nice to know. Each with its own distinct advantages. We gonna, we gonna see. They saying each one is fucking worthy. And you know, there ain't gonna be a meta. Hopefully, man. Hopefully they're actually useful, bro, because they, they be adding in a bunch of lame-ass shit. Hey, this year, man, I'm going to try to be a dribble guy, you know? It'll be my first time ever trying, you know? So, when you, tutorials coming soon. Or just drop, I'm just going to drop niggas off. Fuck a tutorial.
No, I'm, I'm joking. I got y'all niggas. Make sure to give them all a try to find out which one best suits the rhythm of how you like to play. Additionally, you can equip 32 unique dribble dribble sequences. Okay, man. Y'all know I always got the, the cheesiest dribbles anyways, you know. Quick kills. Quick kill swan. I'm the one that discovered all the, the most OP shit in 15, 16, 14, and 17 before anyone. So y'all gonna make sure you wanna be subscribed with post notice, my boy. Pause these 32 unique dribble sequences signature combos. These are quick three or four second dribble combos that you could trigger by simply holding the sprint and flicking the pro stick up, okay? Mixing the signature size ups and signature combos together gives you a limitless variety for how you want to break down your defender. Auto dribbling leaked? Tesla dribbling 2K players? There are a ton of other new combos, cancels, and move chains you can pull off this year. Ooh, cancels. I like that. You know, they actually add that in the. You know, ho hopefully, man, they've heard us and they gonna really just. <laughs> Let the dribble system go fucking bananas, cause that'll bring a lot of viewership to the game. To be honest, people like crazy shit, bro. Just let the, people shouldn't be able to dribble crazier in real life than in a fucking video game. I ain't gonna hold you. But I'm not going into detail on each of these right now to save you from reading a novel on dribbling. In a nutshell, quickly sending you multiple pro stick commands. Man, they, they saying you, you, you spam, you, 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 you flick. They say you do all this shit, you gonna break down the best defenders. <laughs> okay. Y'all let me know if y'all believe that, man. Look, what they should tell us instead is they should tell us which 2K the dribbling feels like. You know? And like be like, yeah, man, everything you've seen in 15, 16, all that type of dribble movement, it's back, but we added our own twist. So we really like, you know, could really pinpoint it, bro, not just feel like lied to. <clears throat> when it comes to dribble movement, you'll notice a significantly faster overall pace and much tighter control over how you navigate the court. Each of the 28 unique dribble styles received a nice refresh with new content that accentuates the signature style of its given player, bro. Did y'all read that? Faster overall pace and much tighter control, bro. That sounds fucking amazing but i will not be genjutsu you feel me i know what 2k is they will never trick me again i will never get my hopes up for this fucking game but i'm just sharing <laughs> my thoughts about this shit or how i feel that <laughs> it sounds like but don't don't get it twisted nigga this shit still gonna be ass nigga <laughs> i don't believe none of this shit we've also added four new we don't care. WNBA movement. Shut up, nigga. What the fuck? Here we go. Last year, taller players could outpace shorter players with the same speed with ball ratings. This has been resolved for an NBA 2K22. Man, I don't believe that shit, bro. Um, it, since the beginning of 2K, bigger player models could chase down smaller builds that had a way higher speed just because their model moves takes up a certain amount of space so even though they have a lower speed they're actually moving faster than you know other high rated speed builds hopefully this is resolved. but um it says um to ensure that smaller players are no longer lagging behind and like i know a lot of you guys complain like the behind the back in 2k20 that glitchy shit the speed glitch that actually creates a, a speed gap, bro. You know? And that's, like, good for 2K. I'm not saying, like, it wasn't, like, crazy. But there, because there was no defense. Like, if you had the speed glitch and then, like, 2K16 defense, it would play a lot better. But if it's, like, the worst perimeter defense ever created with the speed glitch, then shit's ass. But uh, I'm just letting y'all know, like, there has to be a speed gap. If there's no speed gap, you don't have a skill gap, bro. And and those two moves, they created a speed gap, you know? He says, all the dribble moves between current and new gen are going to be identical. 
Ooh, so I guess going back and forth, um, you're not going. It's not going to be completely different. I think it's still going to be completely different, but still probably a little closer. So if you're a player who plans to play both, you won't have to learn two different systems like last year. We don't see about those. Post play. Here we go. The fact that they made a whole section on post play just shows me that this shit's going to be broken. Hey, man, you want a safe build NBA 2K22 leak, my nigga? Leak. Here first. Make a post score. I actually don't because you're a bitch and I'll block you. But, like, if you, like, a bum, like, old head, little kid, you want a safe build, you don't want to make you waste your money, you make one or two builds every year, making a post score would be pretty safe, bro. I ain't going to hold you, bro. Now a little threat for the bigs. Then look at the cover, Kareem, Dirk, KD. Come on, bro. Luca. We spent a lot of time upgrading post play with loads of new content. How you upgrading the most broken shit that's been in the game since 17, bro? <laughs> Including new movement and a new arsenal of back-to-back -back basket moves. Similar to face-up ball handling, many of the new moves are cancels and aborts. For example, start a post spin by twirling the pro stick, then immediately move the left stick in the opposite direction for a spin back. There are also new R2 fakes that keep you engaged in the post, allowing you to chain multiple fakes together without disengaging. You can also take advantage of the new disengage face-up moves controls to help you avoid steals, new hop shots, fades, hooks, and better pool chair mechanics. <sighs> There's a lot of great combination of fakes you master. Look, 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 look. I would, I would make a post score if shit was like balanced. Like if I was to make a a center it would be a post score because he's it's 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 basically the you know the iso the ball handling the skill of bigs but it's so broken that you just do a post hook and you're a little kid that like sucks like you could just beat people way better than you you know it's it's just like a broken mechanic i wish it would just like take skill and contest really matter and shit like that and it'd be cool but these niggas don't get it. Zach Timmerman, you're fucking stupid, bro. I don't know what you're doing with your job, bro. The niggas are broken, okay? Um, it ruins the fun of the game. Like, when something's so broken that it ruins the fun of the game, you might want to ease it back, my boy. You know, there are no post scores in today's game really out there dominating, bro. So you really need to, like, get it together, bro. Like, all this, this is, is, is too much, my nigga. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Shooting has undergone many changes for NBA 2K22. There's a new shot meter with a dynamically resizing. This window will expand when you're taking high quality shots with good shooters, but will shrink when heavily contested. Shooting with a low rated shooter or fatigued. Um, I wish they would take out the no shot meter boost because then people would use the shot meter again and it'd be cool, you know? It's too easy to shoot with no shot meter. The major emphasis for shooting success this year is shot IQ. They're saying the teams that look for open looks are gonna have much more success. That 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 sounds amazing. I don't know, it's kind of contradictory to what I read earlier. It sounds elementary, but it's something we really keyed on this year as taking quality shots was more or less overshadowed by ratings and stick skill. Thank you, bro. If people can't get open, punish them. The people who can get open the most are the best. Not the people that can just time their shit. It's not hard. Shot timing still plays a major role in the skill gap. And yes, you still get an additional boost for turning the meter off, but will only take you so far if you're taking bad shots. We've heavily focused group tested and the new shooting mechanics with players of all skill levels and believe this is the best that shooting has ever felt in an NBA 2K. <sighs> uh, I don't know about those. God damn. Man, this shit long as fuck, nigga. Hey, man, if y'all still watching, man, hit the like button. Hit the <laughs> subscribe. Turn on noties. Finishing. We also made a strong push to get more of a skill gap into finishing at the rim. 
As beautiful as our motion capture dunks are, it was a shame that once you saw one fire off, you basically knew it was automatically two points. Yeah, your shit was broken. With the revamped blocking system, we're now giving rim protectors more tools to make great stops at the rim. I hope so. On top of that, on new gen, we've added, added timing meters to both alley oop and aggressive skill dunk attempts. <laughs> <laughs> hey man hopefully alley-oops are fucking nerfed um hopefully dunks is cool you know hopefully we still get a lot of contact dunks but it's just not op you know when an alley passes in the air you'll need to press the shot button at the right time to finish the oop. yeah y'all think this y'all think uh it's gonna be accurate or no. If you're too early or too late, you'll either smoke the finish or miss the catch completely. Mmm, alley-oops take skill now? Side note, you can force a bounce pass alley this year. Bro, I, I think with one of these things, bro, I'm thinking with maybe the alley-oops, they might have to like patch this throughout the year because no one will be able to catch alley-oops, which will be good because that's been the rep method since 17 bro and that's all niggas play they just throw alley-oops to try to rep up high shit's dumb as hell instead of just playing basketball then they said on the dunk side holding sprint and pulling straight down on the pro stick will trigger the aggressive skill dunks just like every year when you have a defender standing underneath the rim using the aggressive skill dunk feature will let you basically force a dunk attempt on demand. What? As long as you have a strong dunker and you have a bit of a runway. Bro, what? You know how long? Bro, if, if I'm reading this correctly, if you can automatically always go for a dunk, like always, like instead of getting a stupid layup animation, like you can automatically always go for a dunk, that would bring me so much joy, bro. Cause so many times when I'm trying to dunk the ball, I fucking go for a layup cause the shit's just broken, right? But if I can automatically go for a dunk, that'd be so amazing to me, bro. I know a lot of y'all could probably agree with me, bro, but hopefully it's just not broken, you know? Like I got slasher take, I'm tired of going for layups. Let me attempt a fucking dunk, bro. Then he says, it's tough to hit the perfect timer for these high risk, high reward plays, but it's so gratifying when you can pull it off. That's good, bro. It sounds good. We've also added dunk celebrations into the game this year that work very similarly to the green release jump. The green release jump shot landing celebrations. So not only can you throw down some nasty dunks in traffic with the new feature? You can also equip your signature dance to show off a little bit afterwards, okay? I mean, they still, they had the celebrations for the twos and the threes and, you know, we still like kind of already had them. But um, I guess this will be more automatic. Hopefully they're not too long <clears throat> and hopefully you can like break out of them so like, you know, they don't run the break and shit like that. In NBA 2K22, you'll now have the ability to completely customize your dunk repertoire with an all new dunk style creator. We now have a dunk style creator. This is a great feature that allows you to have detailed control over the exact style of your dunk packages and lets you equip more dunks on your player than ever. Man, this shit is sounding broken. All this shit sound good, bro. It, it, it really do, bro, but I can't be Genjutsu, man. Y'all let me know how it sounds to y'all. Let me know what, what you rate. <laughs> this nigga, if this Michelle Wayne, he says this gameplay blog barely scraps the surface. What? Oh shit, they had the game tested? In fact, we had the wonderful opportunity to bring in several respected community members and 2K pros to beta test gameplay a few weeks ago. 
Their feedback was incredibly valued to us and allowed us to put the finishing touches on gameplay to ensure the best possible launch experience. They finally listened and got niggas to test their games. Hopefully it went right. Uh, I don't care about no respected members. Them niggas is, you know, but 2K pros, they actually know some shit. I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Make sure you subscribe if you new. Hit the fucking like button if you hear my voice right now. Go to the gym eight days a week. Drink a gallon of water a day and turn on post notices, my boy. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.